paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. sort of tasked this year with throwing the Halloween party. What are we gonna do for this party? I've never added eyeballs to flowers before. It's gonna blow the kids' minds. This is gonna get messy. <laughs> are the seasons overwhelming you and you're stuck in a holiday rut? Not to worry. Adja was a skilled baker with her very own local bakery shop. Denise is a crafting and sewing expert extraordinaire, and I'm a passionate florist who just wants everyone to enjoy flowers as much as I do. Between the three of us, we'll get you in the mood and give your holiday celebrations a personal handmade touch, one that's unique, crafty, and delicious. Together, we're gonna give you a holiday makeover. <laughs> Olivia and April can barely contain their excitement about Halloween this year. Olivia and April are our two girls. They are just like little balls of energy. They just like to have fun and they're playful and they like to play make-believe. October as a family is really fun. Well, I mean, moving into this neighborhood, there's a lot of kids and they're all in the same age group. So like Halloween on the street here is like crazy. We've been sort of tasked this year with throwing the Halloween party. And this year we wanted to make it really fun and we wanted to have it feel like homemade and something that's not store-bought. But we don't have a whole lot of time on our hands and so we'd really like some help. Halloween is the perfect holiday to give someone a good scare. We're here to find out what kind of party Jen and Al want to throw for their Halloween celebration. Okay, let's talk about Halloween. You guys are thinking of throwing a party. Yes, we're throwing a kid's Halloween party. So what are you guys thinking? We want yeah. um, some food that's going to be good fuel food. Fuel yeah. food. So yeah. not too many sweets? Not or, too many sweets. But a, a few sweets. A few sweets. It's Halloween. Yeah. We don't want the parents to hate us. <laughs> so we'll even try to stay on the healthier side a little bit. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah. I'm going to think on how to make flowers kind of scary and gross. Yeah. Spooky. Mm. The, spooky. Girls, the girls do like spooky yeah. things oh. that are spooky. Flowers aren't scary. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. They can be. That's my job. Okay. And then because it's a party, I'm thinking activities, something fun for them to do. Games will be great. Perfect. Yeah. I can definitely think of some fun games to craft up. Okay. okay. So I think we have a good idea of what you guys are after. Why don't you guys skedaddle and go start thinking about your costumes. Oh, yeah. And then <laughs> we will work on some ideas. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is going to be fun. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. It's the best day ever. Halloween is not Halloween without pumpkins. So I'd like to incorporate maybe a, like a living vase arrangement, Ooh. carve out the pumpkin, do something cute, mm. maybe incorporate some props as well, some eyeballs or something gross. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I mean, kids, every kids all love pizza. Yes. So maybe some scary pizza and bring some worms or some creepy crawly things oh, yeah, into worms. the savory and worms the Worms are so gross. <laughs> <laughs> And then activities, I'm thinking some kind of fun games. Maybe I can do something like a pinata. Oh my gosh, I yeah. Love yeah. Yes. I'll incorporate some Halloween characters into each of the games. Well, okay. we have a lot to do. I yeah. think so. And I think we have a good plan, right? I think Absolutely. So. All right, let's get it done. Bye. Bye. Go team. Go, go, go. <laughs> Scary foods. For Jen and Al's Halloween party, I'm making them some savory snack foods that are still ghoulishly delicious. I'm also making some sweet snacks, um, but not over the top on the sweets, because there's going to be a lot of that later. However, I am going to make them a beating heart cake. It's going to blow the kids' minds. <laughs> a beating heart on a butcher's block? I think that's it.
putting together the ingredients for the heart cake. This is a red velvet cake. I'm gonna bake it in two pieces and then sculpt and put it together. This is a great blood red color. It bakes up a little bit darker because of the cocoa powder in it. I'm making a beating heart. I am going to make the red velvet cake, fill it with chocolate buttercream, add the balloon valve. Once it's crumb coated, I'll start to shape it and add details as I go. Okay, so now that the cakes are baked, I'm going to shape them into the heart, but keeping in mind that we're going to attempt to try to get a beating heart. I'm gonna carve out some of the inside so see if this will even fit in here. I'm gonna make the cake pulsate with a valve and pump, so it'll just slowly beat, like a heartbeat. Let's cut a space up here. We'll try. See if it will even move. Oh! Play with the valve a little bit. That's amazing. <laughs> I don't think that the kids are gonna be scared. They might be a little bit grossed out by the heart. I need one more layer of buttercream. I'm gonna add some veins, some fondant, some blood, and then watch it beat. Almost there. My biggest concern when I'm testing out the balloon pump is whether it's going to beat under the weight of the butter and the cake. As long as the cake stays at room temperature, I don't see a problem. do something to it. I want this thing to be huge. I've never added eyeballs to flowers before. Ugh. What are we gonna do for this party? I love Halloween. It's my birthday. <laughs> it's a party. Let's get crazy. So for Jen and Elle's Halloween party, I'm making flower arrangements that have that ghoulish macabre theme. So using a dark palette, bringing in scary props. I'm gonna do a planter, snakes, then something pretty that just is kind of Halloween inspired but not scary. I hope you're ready for some gross flowers. Let's get to work. The process for making a living vase, carving out the pumpkin. I'll probably arrange first in the mason jar and then put the vase into the pumpkin. Finish it off with a little bit of moss to hide the mechanics and we're going to a Halloween party. You can't have Halloween without pumpkins. Okay, I'm just gonna get in there now with my hands, clean this out. Pumpkins are so awesome. It's the quintessential Halloween decoration. I love roasting pumpkins, I love carving pumpkins, I love planting in pumpkins. Give me a pumpkin and I'll do something to it. There we go. Time to make a crazy, disgusting flower arrangement. I'm using a very dark palette, so eggplant tones. Calla lilies come in a really beautiful dark eggplant color. Smoke bush is a beautiful foliage. Ranunculus, a nice pop of orange. Brasilia berries, they sort of look like little urchin eyeballs. It's a lovely mix of dark, beautiful things that are unique and interesting. I'm gonna start with my vase, start adding in the foliage. That'll really help create my shape. Take my eyeballs, wire them up, wire up some flies, and really just start arranging like I would any normal arrangement. Got all my beautiful, gorgeous, and ghoulish flowers. It's up to me now to make them even scarier. So I'm gonna add eyeballs. So I'm working with just a thin gauge wire here, and I'm gonna pierce my jelly eyeballs. I've never added eyeballs to flowers before. I don't know how that's gonna go, so I'm nervous about it. Ugh, so good. Amazing! Hey, Halloween, this is going to be extra fun. 
For Jen and Al's Halloween party, I'm making a bunch of traditional kids' party games and I'm putting a Halloween twist on them. I'm making a spider pinata, a ring toss game, and a witch ball game. Time to make this happen. I'm making a spider pinata. I want this thing to be huge. It's gonna have great dangly legs, nice furry tarantula type skin, and it'll be creepy crawly, but then, you know, I'll give it a cute smile or cute eyes or something like that to tone it down a bit. To make the spider pinata, I'll start with a huge balloon and I'll paper mache that balloon. Then I'll cover it with crinkled up crepe paper to make it look nice and furry like a tarantula. I'll use jumbo pipe cleaners as legs and then some nice big googly eyes to finish. This is a lot of paper, but I've got a huge balloon and it's got to be covered. Now it's time to get the newspaper on the balloon. Yeah, this is gonna get messy. Ooh. I'm using a paper mache technique to make the pinata. I'm covering strips of newspaper with a glue type paste and putting those over top of the balloon. There's something about creativity and making things that when you're really in it, like your hands are dirty and I don't know, it just feels good. All right, now it's time for me to put this aside to dry. Oh, she looks mean. Rawr. I love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? I'm a big fan of succulents. I'm going to work on the witch ball toss game. So I want witches and I want them stacked. So witches, green skin. I'm making a witch ball game. And it's basically like a beanbag toss, but I'm adding in witch faces. And I'm gonna make them nice and scary so that the kids get a good laugh. To make the witch ball game, I'm cutting pieces of colored Bristol board and I'm shaping those for the witch's faces and hair. And I'm gluing that onto cardboard and then I'm going to cut out holes for the balls. Now my lovely witch needs a little bit of hair, so. Let's do crazy, multicolor hair, purple, orange, yellow, all of it. Oh, she looks mean. And I think I need to give her a little beauty mark slash ugly mark. <laughs> that is awesome. Rawr. Witches are just kind of the symbol of Halloween. They fly around, they're dressed in black, their skin is green, everything about them, Halloween. Lovely. All right, this baby's nice and dry. It's time to add all the spider accessories. I've got some crepe paper and I'm going to cut it up and make it all frizzy and fuzzy and then cover this thing with it. Making things for Halloween just makes it that much more special. You've got something that's unique, you have put in your creativity, and you know, it's different. You don't have something that everyone else has shopped for or everyone else owns. It's special for you and you can mix it up every year. More tissue, and then, yeah, this is looking great. Nice and spidery. I'm making sweet and savory worms for the Halloween party. The sweet ones are strawberry, raspberry, and a bit of cream. The savory ones are red pepper and tomato puree. They're both set with gelatin, poured into straws. Once they set, pulled out of the straws, and you have squirmy worms. I'm gonna add some tomato sauce to the peppers here. And then we are going to blitz the entire thing. I like to put it in the freezer to get it to set initially, and then back into the fridge. What inspires me to make something creepy crawly or Halloween themed is the person I'm making it for. It's so much fun when someone's really into the holiday and you get to surprise them with something they did not expect. Ooh, they're slippery. It actually does look like a worm and creeps me a little bit that I'm gonna put this in my mouth. But it tastes delicious. I'm making a very quick dough for our scary pizza. Pizzas that I'm making are going to be spooky and creepy curly. To make the pizza, I'm using a quick and easy dough. 
I will let the dough rise, roll it out, add some sauce, and then I'm putting little tiny pepperoni and a cheesy wet. I'm just gonna put a bit of oil on the tray, roll this dough onto here. And now it's time to put toppings on. Pizza is a great thing for kids because, especially when it's homemade, it doesn't have a whole lot of preservatives and junk on it, but it's bread, it's tomatoes, it's cheese, it's as many vegetables as you can eat or that they won't pick off. There's just no downside. I love pizza. Who doesn't love pizza? You'd have to be lying to me and yourself if you said you didn't like pizza. It's just not happening. I should probably, um, just to make sure the uh, spiders are not poisonous, try a piece for myself. Mmm. <laughs> so good. I'm making a planter, and I'm kind of treating it as though if Medusa had a planter in her lair, this is what she would have. I'll add snakes all over it, which will be super gross. Fill it with moss plant in my succulents. So I've got my beautiful moss here. And this is what I'm using actually as my plant material because succulents will actually root in moss. Succulents are a type of plant that retain their moisture in their foliage, so they don't need a lot of water. And it's ideal for people who don't have a lot of time to take care of plants. I'm a big fan of succulents. The pretty flower pumpkins are so simple. It's a really fun DIY project. Just pop the heads off your flowers, add a little floral adhesive, and stick them on your pumpkin. It's a really fun DIY to do with your kids. It's so easy and really pretty, and it's instant results. Super cute. I'm so excited about what I made. I think the eyeballs just made it super disgusting. Spiders, snakes, beautiful flowers with that macabre juxtaposition. Slam dunk. <laughs> Looks like there's a heart. See that? Looks like there's a heart. It's a cake. Oh my gosh, that's and it amazing. Beats. And are there spiders on that pizza? There are. Ajua made scary pizzas that had spiders made of pepperonis and olives. They're placed on a delicious web made of cheese sauce. She also created sweet and savory jelly worms made from red pepper tomato and strawberry raspberry puree. These squirmy worms are served on beds of lettuce and sweet chocolate cake crumbs. Finally, Ajua made a delicious beating heart cake. This red velvet cake is filled with chocolate buttercream and covered in a sweet raspberry sauce. Ajua used fondant to shape the heart and add vein detailing. She also placed a balloon pump inside the cake to make it beat. Oh, look at this pinata up here. Denise used her crafting skills to make traditional children's games with a Halloween twist. She used paper mache to create a large furry spider pinata covered in crepe paper and filled with candies and confetti. Denise also created two cute witch games, ring toss with cone-shaped witch hats for pegs to catch the rings, and a ball game inspired by bean toss with funny witch faces as the main target. Oh, oh and I love the flowers. They're spooky with eyeballs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we do have eyeballs. Finally, I made the most frightening flowers. I used pumpkins to create living vases and filled them with arrangements that used brazilia berries, smoke bush, and calla lilies decorated with eyeballs. I also made a planter inspired by Medusa with snakes slithering out of a variety of succulents and moss. And for those who can't handle scary things, I made a pumpkin by gluing chrysanthemums and gerbera daisies to faux pumpkins. You did it. I did it. <laughs> I scared ya. <laughs> scary and pretty. <laughs> Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoy. The Halloween party was awesome. Kids really loved it. I think that we could call too. it like epic. I think it was like an epic Halloween party. Ew. Who says flowers can't be scary? 
I think these flowers are totally gross with eyeballs and flies and just a great dark palette. Totally scary and awesome. I pulled it off. The kids had such a great time with the games. It was great seeing them play around, and they had so much energy. Oh, my gosh. The Halloween party was amazing. The beating heart was definitely a hit. I think the handmade element made 